Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, 6.30 a.m. going to begin my trip to Haiti, just waiting for Greg to pick me up. We'll keep you posted as to what goes on today. Uh, it's now 10 o'clock in the morning, and we've made it to Fort Lauderdale. I'm sitting back here in row 35. For whatever reason, some mysterious reason, Greg is up in business class on this leg of the flight. Uh, we're getting ready to head off to uh, Port Prince here a little bit. The plane is filling up with people. We'll be hitting the road before long. Here we are. I've landed in uh, Port au Prince here in my first view of There's our airplane we just got off of. And, uh, I guess we're heading toward the terminal. i got to find Greg. He's somewhere up there. Of course, he flew in business class, so. I uh, had to sit in the back of the plane. He sat in the front and got off. But we're on the ground. Well, the good news, Greg, is uh, we, we got through immigration and we found uh, Charlie, the guy who's picking us up. Now we're looking for the other guy who's driving with us. So that's good news, right? That is the good news. Again, you are much more refreshed having ridden in first class. I, business class. Well, for all practical purposes, first class. Yeah. yeah. So. Hey, that's what happens when you can work a deal. <laughs> Now we're just waiting. We already got our bags ready. We're in good shape then. We'll be heading on the road in a few minutes. First international trip, packing their backpack. <laughs> oh, heavens. Okay. Here we are on the truck. Charlie's behind the wheel. There he is. Should I be afraid? He's a... He and Tim look a little bit alike. No, just have peace. <laughs> um, close your windows, please. Okay, close your windows. Some UN police. Where are the UN? Where, where are they from? Yeah, just, for example. Well, we arrived, and uh, I kind of was expecting the team to be working, but oh, so I came across some, and they working. have their hair all done, and sitting here in the nice air, uh, screened-in porch area. And I'm just no air conditioning. Cindy Joe, what's this all about? I mean, what's is this, this is this is this what it's like every day here? I just took my daily cold shower because I just got done building a house with all the other guys on our team men and women wow. and now we're going to go shopping and i need to get my mom a present okay and i didn't want to scare the locals in my filth so what are you so, what are you looking for i don't know something for my mother okay all she's right not too picky. Well, so i just want you to know this isn't what she's been doing every day here she's actually yeah. been working hard <laughs> charlie is that correct i can um vouch for um <laughs> nurse cindy she, nurse cindy has been a blessing here oh good that's right we found a child in the village of La Salle that got burnt. And when we asked when the child got burnt, it might have been like five days ago. And I, we, it gets me upset because we have plenty of medicine up here to treat that kind of stuff. And um, so Cindy has been a blessing to us. Good. Boy, we'll oh boy. Keep, we'll keep Cindy. Well, they're going to keep you, Cindy. They're going to keep you. Yeah, tell my husband. <laughs> he, Frankie, Frankie sent me an email and told I me did. that have a good time. So. Oh, good. So I think he, so I think he misses you. So. Oh, yes, I'm sure. All right. Yes, I miss All right, ladies. Uh, are you on break or what? We're about to go shopping. We're working hard. You're going shopping? It doesn't sound like any different than Orlando. Uh, no, going shopping. We've been building a house oh, for the last few days. It will be different. <laughs> yeah. So you're all uh, refreshed from the day? Yet. Have you Not shown the? I can take a shower tonight. Look at that beautiful view over there. You got the ocean right there. Yeah, we have wow. horses too. There's a yep. horse yeah. and a horses. Oh. You ride the horses? Oh, all the time. one attacked me yesterday. I had to run for my life. Do you sense a common theme here going on, Rochelle? You said the kids mobbed you today, and the horse attacked you. <laughs> it did. It was, it was all Seth's fault too. He um, was irritating it, so he ran after me. What's this all about, though? Why is everything attacking you? Well, I'll have to figure that out. Oh, well, girls, I'm glad to see you all refreshed up for me, so you <laughs> smell good and and you well, look like you're didn't clean and the painted clothes off. Yeah, we're yeah we're we got some paint. That's from today. See, I yeah. at least changed clothes. Too. Wow, you both have paint on you. Did you get any paint on the house? Yes. That looks like the paint from Costa Rica. <laughs> Same color. Is. It's all the paint, paint that the paint. yeah. That the, no one else buys. <laughs> 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 Who uses seafoam green? Really? Yeah. Exactly. All right. Here he is. Mr. John is live here in Haiti. At, at, exactly. And this is this is Tim, Timmy, Timothy. Yeah, Timote. What is, what is Timote? Timote. Timote. What is your your brother Charlie? Who does he call you? 
He calls me his little brother. He calls you. I have somebody called her. He called you Timothy. Like there's like Timothy, a little. Yeah. I feel, I feel a little paternalness in that. Right. In that name. We made it. You made it. You're here. <laughs> You're here at New Missions in Leogon, Haiti. Leo. Leogon. 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 Okay. We have some exciting things for you to see, John. All so right, I'm looking forward to it. Jump on in. It's and you, fun. you can see the quality video camera I it's bought amazing. that you may want to steal my video footage for your videos. It's unbelievable. Because you can see the quality of it it's right great. here. Cheers. 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 <laughs> my good ride with Charlie on the way over. There are obviously uh, harvesting sugarcane by hand over here. New Missions has about 12 acres of land. They just have purchased some more land. And would like to expand a little bit more. We're walking on the outside of the. We're walking to the warehouse where our team has been working hard. There's Bill. Looks a little warm. There we go. And uh, there, Joe is hammering something. They're building a house for a lady who needs a house. I hate to say there are levels of poverty, but there are. But this is where they're actually putting it together. All guys warm? Of huh? She's, she's for this I heard about it, yeah. So tell me, tell me, look at the story on tape. Well, the, um, Charlie came to me the other day and asked me if uh, we could build a hut. And you guys haven't seen the huts yet, but it's a hut uh, for this lady that has four children. And um, so we decided to do it, and we come over to look at our lumber pile that we're going to use. And, well... It's really about a pile of trash that we used to, to build this hut. So um, it's been a challenge, but it's been really, really cool. Everybody's been doing a great job. And this hut is um, it's 12 by 14 inside, and then we got a porch on the front of it. So, so did, you cool. actually, did you actually draw plans for this? Yeah, actually, I was, I was hoping that I don't get any copyright infringements from Jim Zirkel because I used some of his plans for this. I just copied them, but I thought it would be okay since I, it was a non-for-profit thing. <laughs> Way to pick on the architect in the church. Hey, that should be here with us. The guy that should be here with us. So, so. so this is it right here, huh? This is it. Where are your safety goggles? Joe, where's your safety goggles? Oh, look at that. Now notice the color of the rope matches the outside. Oh, wow. Was that on purpose? It's aesthetically pleasing. Was that honest. was that on purpose? It's what we found. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you got nice windows in there. So you're going to put this in pieces, haul it over to the village, and put it together, right? 